93% of the population in Sub-Saharan Africa lacks access to surgical care. There is a new generation of African surgeons who are changing that reality. My name is Rose Alenyo. I was born in Kampala. I had my brother that was very sick and we went to the hospital. And the way we were treated, I felt very uncomfortable and I said, well, I think I need to be a doctor. So that's how I got into medical school. I'm very passionate with my patients. I understand them because I know how it feels. You see them very excited. That drives you to go on. Jennifer is an 18-year-old girl. She was born when she was 14 years old. When I write that I feel some pain, the aunt freezes. I told the teachers the problem is the aunt. She has a burn contracture, so that fixes the hand in this position. Band is uh, very common where the population is very high because in the slum areas, people live in one room. Sub-Saharan Africa is one plastic surgeon for 10 million population. The community needs that service. The Research International Program in Africa is building local surgical capacity by supporting surgeons like Dr. Rose and Dr. Saif and funding the direct care of their patients. Partnering with the largest surgical training college in the region, research provides curriculum, training, and scholarships to ensure sustainable solutions for patients like Jennifer. Reconstructive surgery is not a one thing. You need to follow the patient. Training local surgeons, it's very, very important. Hello, Dr. Rose. Hi, Sam, how are you? Research connected me with Dr. Rose. She was teaching us day to day, and until now, I keep on communicating with her. She like has a, an African solution because she knows the environment. Jennifer's surgery today was successful. In two months, Jennifer will be able to use the hand and do exams again next year. When I finish my studies, I want to enter the college and I start laws. Access to health care is a human right. When we train just one reconstructive surgeon, they will treat an estimated 9,000 patients over their lifetime and train others to do the same. They have this lifelong impact, like a ripple effect from the surge. I will make sure this is not ending to me. It should go to other 